It's 1983, and the hot new TRS-80 color computer design from three years ago just wasn't doing it anymore. I mean, it was silver, and everyone knows the color of the future was beige. And look how big it is. Time to replace it with a new, sleek design that truly fits the decade. Yeah, some members of corporate are trying to push that Tandy 1000 nonsense, but we all know that the color computer line was where it was at. Let's continue our Septandy 2020 coverage by taking a look at the second in the Coco trilogy, a trilogy just as epic and just as kitsch as Star Wars. Make sure to check out our video on the first color computer for some much needed context for this system. Hi, I'm Jacob with Tandy Lab, and today we're taking a look at the sometimes TRS-80 Color Computer 2. Over the life of the Color Computer 1, Tandy refined the design and reduced the overall chipset to save cost. These changes were sometimes marketed as new improved models, but most of the time you'd have no idea, say, which specific motherboard revision you had. Towards the end, they released a new model in a white case with a revised keyboard and ventilator grills. Many of these changes would then be incorporated into the design of the Color Computer 2, which at launch featured the same keyboard and design elements as the white Coco 1, with the chipset and motherboard now able to be produced in smaller sizes. The biggest change with the Coco 2 was the major reduction in size, with the new system being about 30% smaller than the old. The Coco 2 is fully compatible with the original color computer with one major exception. The new model uses a smaller power supply that does not provide a 12 volt rail. This means that some older accessories like disk drives and printers that require the 12 volt power from the system won't work. Theoretically, you could wire an external 12 volt source, but that's more effort than many would be willing to put up with. Of course, Tandy made sure to release new, fully compatible accessories for the Coco 2 that have the added benefit of matching the overall design. Much like with the Coco 1, the Coco 2 was gradually updated with various design changes over the years. The keyboard would eventually be swapped to a typewriter style keyboard that is very similar in feel to that of the Tandy 1000 EX. Also, the somewhat archaic TRS-80 branding would be dropped with the name reduced to just the Tandy Color Computer 2. Later models of the Coco 2 would also bundle in Level 1 OS 9. No, 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 not that OS 9. OS 9 was a multitasking operating system created by Microware Systems Incorporated. It has a crazy history of its own that really deserves its own video, but OS 9 could be found in various forms on everything from the Commodore Super Pet to the Philips CDI. OS 9 Level 1 was a great OS for systems with relatively low amounts of RAM and graphical capabilities, making it a great fit for the now aging Coco family. Ours is a later model, specifically the 26-3134, which was the low-end model sold starting in 86 at a price of $120, coming with the upgraded keyboard, the standard 16K basic ROM, and 16K of RAM, which would have been a killer deal for a system for learning basic or to give to kids as an education or gaming platform. On the front of our system, you'll see the color computer badge and the excellent keyboard. On the right is the expansion port. On the back is the reset button, cassette port, serial port, joystick ports, channel selector, TV out, and power switch. The color computer 2 would officially be discontinued at the end of 1986, though like its predecessors, existing stock would continue to be sold in store on clearance for several more years. The Coco 2 would then be replaced by the Color Computer 3, which we will also be releasing a video on this Septandy. 
If you are in the future where that video already exists, there will be a card here. And now for the ratings. Usability gets a 4 out of 5. The keyboard is much improved from the last model we rated, but there's still no composite output, which makes it a bit more of a challenge to use four decades after release. Rarity gets a 2 out of 5. These are pretty common, and there's basically never a time you'll not find a few listed on eBay. I would highly recommend picking up a newer model over the old. Price gets a 4 out of 5. You can find some great deals on this computer, but disk drives, not as common. Aesthetics get a 3 out of 5. It gets the job done, but I can't help but feel it's rather bland compared to its older brother. Software gets a 3 out of 5. The same as the Coco 1, since their libraries are basically identical. Well, that's all for you guys in this video. Make sure to subscribe. We've got tons of great videos coming in the future, including that Color Computer 3 video I mentioned. Also, make sure to join our Discord server so you can talk about your fond memories of this beautiful system uh, with me and with a bunch of other geeks just like you. And of course, of course, if you'd like to help us keep the, the lights on in here, uh, please, uh, take a look at our Patreon. You can get exclusive perks like the ability to watch these videos before everyone else. And I'll see you guys next time.